Hello and welcome to another Betfred Sports video right here in the Quest Media Network studio. Now, of course, there was a lot of Premier League action over the weekend, despite the weather's best efforts to cancel games. So it ended Manchester City 2, Tottenham Hotspur 3, and it ended Leeds United 2, Manchester United 4. Peter, first of all, let's take a look at City's defeat. That really does open up the title race now. It does. Um, I mean, the boss, Fred, who was... Um uh, paid out on City, of course. It's a squeaky bum time for him because he's already paid 750000 on um, City to win the yeah. title. So um, it might be that um, he loses that money and uh, someone else wins the league. But I've got to say, it is very much um, City's to lose. Mm. We've got City 1 to 5 uh, from 1 to 10. So they, they have drifted a little bit there um, to win the title. Liverpool, 100 to 30. They've got to come to the Etihad and get a victory. Yeah. Um, and you, you think of the um, uh, goals difference is much in City's favour. Um, so uh, Chelsea are 8 to 1 with Betfred for the Premier League title. So they've gone out of it now. So it's looking between City and Liverpool. Mm. Um, we'll come to the top four in a bit. But um, on the City performance, um, it was all about Harry Kane, wasn't it? It I mean, was, How many yeah. times have we sat here and said that City should have put Harry Kane? Mm. I mean, the pressure on uh, Guardiola now is absolutely enormous. He's got to deliver and deliver the Premier League and, more importantly for him and the owners, the Champions League. And he, he must be wondering why he didn't push for Harry Kane rather yeah. than, Harry, uh, than um, Jack Grealish. Yeah. Because you can see the difference and the, the, the sort of quality that he adds to... Um, uh, the team, he's not just a striker, he, he links up play so superbly, he's got mm. fantastic awareness for that first goal when he, when he sprung a son, um, that was just a fantastic pass that, um, better than all the midfielders in the yeah. City team. For me, he looked like a player who had something to prove to the City fans, to the City management team and to maybe the Manchester City players, basically saying, you're missing out on me this season. Yeah, and I heard on the, on the radio about how it's important that you get good people as well as good players in yeah. some clubs. And there's nobody really better than Harry Kane. I remember when um, Rochdale played um, Tottenham in the FA Cup a couple of years ago. And I'll never forget it. that The lads who were ball boys, um, they were waiting for Harry Kane's signature. And he, they were all queuing up and then the other fans joined in. He waited a good hour signing yeah. autographs for all the kids. His teammates were going crazy saying we want to go back to London. And he's going, no, 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 hang on. And uh, him and Deli Alley just signed all these autographs. I'll never forget that. Mm, yeah. so he is a decent person. Yeah, decent person and very good player, like I just said then. He definitely had a point to prove at the Etihad Stadium on Saturday. But that result, combined with Liverpool's 3-1 victory over Norwich, now means there's just a six-point gap between the top two places. And, of course, Liverpool have a game in hand. So it'll be very interesting if the Reds do win their game in hand. But elsewhere, as I said then, Leeds United 2, Manchester United 4, local lad Anthony Alanga popping up with that fourth and final goal to silence the Ellen Road crowd Peter, great result for United because uh, when Leeds drew 2 all, you were thinking, they're going to do it again aren't they United? Well, I, I, it did cross my mind but the quality in the United team when they get it together is exceptional they have got individuals who can turn it on whereas Leeds look like basically a team of fairly skillful um, sloggers effectively they just looked outclassed in many mm. areas of the pitch and that defence of Leeds is so, something to be old isn't it I mean <laughs> if you can't score against them um, so Betfred have um, Arsenal still slight favourites over United for a top four finish um, Arsenal 11 to 10 uh, United 13 to sorry 11 to 8 Arsenal United 13 to 8 um, Spurs next up after that great victory over City, uh, five to two. West Ham fourteen to one. But the huge movers are Wolves yeah. because on the tenth of February they were fifty to one for a top four finish. Now they're sixteen to one. Mm. So you can see how um, they've got it together. Um, just keep picking up the victories again against Leicester yesterday, um, and they're just a great team who play mm. very well together. Absolutely. Well, if you fancy Wolves to pounce on a top four finish, they are now 16-1 to 1 at Betfred. And as Peter just said then, they did claim a 2-1 victory over Leicester City on Sunday. So the table's shaping up nicely, Peter. At the bottom end, Newcastle got a one all draw at West Ham United on Saturday. That's a great result for Eddie outside. Yeah, it is. Um, I still think that Norwich will go down. I'm in the bottom of the table. 
Burnley have started uh, getting some results together. Yeah. Um, but I am thinking it's going to be um, Norwich, Watford, maybe Newcastle. Everton are dragged into it now. There's nothing uh, clear at the bottom. It's uh, going to be a fascinating dogfight there. Mm, absolutely. Well, uh, as Peter said then, Everton... Relegation threatened at the moment. Frank Lampard took his side to Southampton at the weekend. Awful defeat, really. It doesn't look good, does it, for the Goodison Park outfit? No, um, I think Saints are very uh, underrated. Um, I think they're a, a very good team. Um, they took United um, and they do, always do well against City. Um, and I think they've got a, a nice package together there. Mm. Um, so that defeat for Everton didn't really surprise me. But Everton have got to start winning some games, yeah, they otherwise they're going to be um, out of it. And I think Everton um, are one of the few teams that have actually always been in the top flight. Mm, absolutely. Time is running out for the Toffees to escape the drop. So looking ahead to this week's fixtures on Wednesday, it's the Champions League round of 16 first leg. Atletico Madrid taking on Manchester United. This is United's final chance to claim silverware this season. As we've said on previous episodes of the Sports Talk Show, Peter, United realistically not going to win the Champions League, but you never know with them, do you? You don't. They can always turn it on with the quality that they've got, particularly up front. Um, so, uh, Betfred have Atletico, the slight favourites, 11 to 8. Um, United, um, 11 to 5 to uh, win on Wednesday um, in this last 16 game. Um, Ronaldo is the favourite to score first, he's 9 to 2. Uh, Rashford and Cavani, uh, if they start, and I do suspect he will bring at least one of them back, probably Rashford, um, is 6-1. Uh, to one. And Fernandez, who is at last starting to uh, get some form back um, and stop arguing with the referee, he's 7-1 to one to score the first goal. We're getting quite a lot of interest in uh, scoreline bets as well on that particular fixture. And United... Um, Always likely to give a goal away. Mm. Um, the most po anyway, the most popular bet with Betfred um, for a scoreline is 3-1 to United, which you can get for 28-1. to you fancy United to go there and get a 3-1 victory? If you do, Betfred have them priced at 28-1. Well, the Super League season is well underway now. St. Helens top the table, Huddersfield Giants in second, and surprisingly, Salford Red Devils in third. They've won both their games so far. Peter, just going to run through the results from the week, well, from last Thursday up until Sunday. So, ended Warrington Wolves 34, Castleford Tigers 10, Wigan Warriors 34, Leeds Rhinos 12, Hull FC 6, Table topper St. Helens 38, Huddersfield Giants 26, Hull KR 12, Catalans Dragons 24, Wakefield Trinity 22, and the Salford Red Devils 38 to lose 12. So, Peter, like I said, then Salford in third. Great start for them. It is. You've got to think to yourself, though, they haven't actually played any of the big hitters yet. But you don't take anything away from them. You can only beat the teams in front of you. Mm. And they've won the first two games, and they're now coming from 100 to 1. For grand final glory uh, to 80 to 1 with Bet Fred. Um, now, Saints do look unstoppable. Um, they've won again um, and they're 15 to 8. They've been cutting at 15 to 8 now for the title. Um, Warrington also made a promising start under Daryl Powell. Um, they've won the first two fixtures. They're 3 to 1 now and second favourites for um, getting for winning the grand final. Saints could do it. Um, they're going for four titles on the bounce now. Um, you don't you don't see any weakness in the team. Um, they've um, re-evaluated the squad. Uh, they've moved some players on because salary cap reasons. But they have got a, a conveyor belt of talent coming through from the academy. And they do look, um, well, the team to beat. Um, what I'm looking for in Betfred Super League this season is characters. We need characters in that sport to, to lift um, mm. and promote it more. Um, Channel 4 are now um, playing, having some matches, broadcasting some matches on a Saturday lunchtime. Yep. Um, and the uh, quality of the, of the sport is now getting to a larger audience. It's like the footprint is getting bigger. Yep. Um, but we do need characters. Um, and they've got abundance of them at St Helens. James Roby, the captain, he's going to um, come through again. Uh, this could be his last season. Um, and I just think it's going to be brilliant season but it is 
going to be St Helens, the team to beat. Mm, absolutely. Well, as Peter said then, rugby league in dire need of some characters, but there were certainly characters at the AO Arena on Saturday night. Amir Khan was defeated, but looking locally, uh, Charlie Schofield lost his super middleweight title to Jermaine Brown, while Brad Rea, who trains at Hatton's Gym in Hyde, he claimed a first round knockout against Craig McCarthy to take his record to 12 victories to nil. Great undercard, a great main event. Yeah, it was. I really enjoyed it. It was um, quite a spectacle. Um, I thought Amir Khan could have um, put up more of a fight. He was, he, he was ended at six rounds, wasn't he? Um, to be honest, it surprised us um, the, the way that went. Um, we had um, Khan as favourite, and I thought that um, it was going to be Khan's night. Um, but uh, all credit to um, Brooke who came through. Absolutely. Fantastic occasion. Can't wait for more boxing to come on the scene in the next few months. Well, it's been great speaking to you, Peter. And if you are watching this video and you fancy a punt on Manchester United's trip to Atletico Madrid in the Champions League on Wednesday night, Betfred stores are now open, but you can also bet online via their app.